Now with the weather, here's Paul Higgins. And Tam, I hope you're able to get out and enjoy some of that warmth today, something we're not used to lately. In fact, it was our mildest day for a week and a half, but tomorrow, rain. It was another morning with single-digit lows, down to one degree at Westmere in the Western District, minus two in the Alps. Now, cloud began to build from the northwest during the day, and we had some showers developing over the northwest and also parts of the north. But so far, the falls have been pretty light, less than one millimetre hitting the ground. Mildura and Oyen were top of the ladder on 23 degrees. In Melbourne City, we made it just over 20, 20.6 20 degrees at 2.31 this afternoon. And right now, outside, still a relatively mild 17 degrees for a bit of an evening stroll. Adelaide managed to avoid most of the rain over South Australia today, and there were a few spots of rain in Perth. Now, a complex low in the bite and a cold front and trough to the north of that triggered areas of severe thunderstorms today. The front and trough are actually going to intensify as they move into the eastern states tomorrow, with rain and thunderstorms right the way from Victoria up to Queensland. And in fact, there are some flood watches in place because of that. Showers will continue over most of Victoria on Friday and also south of the Divide Saturday and again on Sunday. Tomorrow, Brisbane and Sydney will have dry days before evening showers. Rain for Canberra in Hobart afternoon showers. Showers for Adelaide and the chance of a shower across in Perth. Well, back home, areas of rain and isolated thunderstorms will move across northern and western Victoria from tonight, easing into tomorrow evening. Scattered showers around for south-central areas and also for Gippsland. And here's how much rain could fall over the next four days. That pale blue area is above 50 millimetres and the bright green is 25 to 50 millimetres. It's going to be a mostly cloudy Thursday, but still reasonably mild for most of us, a moderate to fresh fresh northeast wind that will be gusty over elevated areas. On the bay, an east to northeasterly 15 to 30 knots, strong winds on Port Phillip and all coastal waters. Well, taking another look at that radar, you can see the rain is still a fair way off from Melbourne. We could have some light showers overnight and they'll be back again from late tomorrow morning. It'll be a windy day, a strong northeasterly 12 to 19 degrees. Friday, again, a few showers from late morning and thunderstorms as well, 18. Saturday, 16, a westerly breeze and a few showers. On Sunday 15, a few showers in the afternoon because the wind will go around to a colder southwesterly. So just 13 on Monday, dry Tuesday and warming up Wednesday, Tam. Thank you, Paul. That's it for this evening's bulletin. Stay with us now for 7.30 with Sarah Ferguson.